Hey, what's up, man? It's your boy in tech once again. Uh, today I'm going to talk about exporting separate wave files on Fruit Loops. <clears throat> now, I'm just going to be doing a lot of question and answers. Um, first, I want to talk about how to do it, how to export your beats in separate waveforms. Well, I have a beat here. And um, what you would do, first of all, your instruments all have to be on a separate mixer channel. So, go through and make sure they're on a separate mixer channel. I'm not even sure if this one is. Like this one, um, it's not assigned to a channel. Just go here, assign free mixer track, just like that. Cause it has to be on the channel all right once they're all on a channel you go to file export wave file now what I suggest is you right click make a new folder with the beat name whatever you want just so you know because it's going to make a lot of files, so you want them all in one folder. There, double click and just save it. You can just save this um, as the name. Now, on this screen, keep them at 16 bit because um, it's the most compatible form just to keep it safe. Keep the depth at 16 bit and make sure you click split mixer tracks. Okay, now it's going to export. Okay, once it's exported, you're going to go to the file, the folder, I mean. Uh, let's see, I have one. Here's the one I've, did, I've done. I didn't even finish exporting the other one. But the one, here's the one I did. It's going to be like this. Um, some of them might not have a name like insert five two. That's cool. Just you know, as long as you know what it is. Now you see how loud it is. It's distorted. Let me see. And when it's distorted, this is um, the fix for that. Now, on this beat, you can see, you know, the volumes are okay. See, that's okay, but... If I export this, it's going to be very distorted. The reason why is because when you export separate wave files on Fruit Loops 10 um, or probably 9, it goes according to how loud, well, it goes to 100% on the master volume. So if your volume's here and it sounds good, that means at 100%, that's how it's going to sound. So what you have to do uh, one thing you can do is turn this you can turn the master channel down on the mixer and it'll work out like that'll be straight and it'll export okay if not um, you can just go turn all of them down individually but it's easier to just do the master channel make sure make sure the master volume up here is at 100% and whatever you hear at 100% no matter what you do as long as that it, that's at 100% it's going to export so you can do it like that another thing um if you, if somebody says hey send me the several wave files to the beat send me the session 
send me the track doubt files. You would export it like I said. Then you want to um, highlight all of them. Click add to archive. If you have WinRAR, then pick zip just so it'll be compatible. Pick zip is going to zip it up and it's going to be a zip file like this. Then you email this. You're probably going to have to use something like Mega Upload or Send Space because it's too big to email. So when they get it, they'll open it up. All the stuff will be there. And these files are, these um, zip files are real big. So make sure you have space. And what they're going to do, let me open up Cubase, for example. If they're recording on Cubase, they'll get the beat and open it up on here with their session I'm gonna open up a session with it I think those files are distorted though Let's see they can just go in import audio file or you can too if you want to mix your beat Cubase they can highlight all of them open okay and put different tracks and all the um, instruments are there so they can mix now the selected that's gonna be the whole beat and also master is gonna be the whole beat so you can delete the whole, delete master and select it So it's gonna do that's how you open a beat up on uh Cubase. But um yeah that's how you fix the loudness because I, I it took me a long time to figure that out. On Fruit Loops ten has to be at a hundred percent and then the volume has to be at a hundred percent. If not, it's gonna be distorted. You know, whatever you hear down here, it's gonna play, it's gonna export at a hundred percent. And that's how you export uh, the WAV files. If you have any more questions, just hit me up in the comments and uh, I'll try to answer them. Just subscribe, like, share, do what you do.